Um, I was expecting a slightly younger audience, okay? No, no, that's fine. Look, 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 that's totally cool. That's totally good. I'm a lot older than I look, okay? You know, they say black don't crack while yellow don't mellow. It's tough bringing up kids nowadays, isn't it? Isn't it tough bringing up whether they're yours, whether they're adopted, foster, doesn't matter. It's tough because they want everything they wanted yesterday, don't they? Am I right? I don't know, you know? My little girl came up to me the other day, she said, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be like Rihanna. How can I prepare her for life as Rihanna? So I gave her a little bit of thought and punched her in the face. There's uh... <laughs> I remember I seen this one guy from my church once, who I found out was two-timing me, stand-up comic Joy Carter, with this girl in the choir called Peace. I said to him, where does it say that? In the Bible. He said, is it not written? Ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Can't argue with the word of God. Truly wonderful. Comics were so funny and so wonderful. Then like this, you have a laugh. It's about something serious. It's, it's all great we shared together. So yeah, I was very glad I got the invitation. I've got two sisters, but I wasn't raised with my sisters. What happened was, at the age of about 18 months, the social services came in and they took me away from my family. And the reason for this, unfortunately, it's very common in the ghetto, I was a crack baby. Okay, so there you go. My sisters weren't, they were both caesarean, but that's life. <laughs> I was actually born in Africa. I was born in Nigeria. And I was actually transracially adopted out there. So this is my family. So you can see there, that's my family. Everyone have a look. There you go. So you can see there, um, I've got a white mum. That's Daphne Carter, not Madonna. And I've got a white dad. And you know what? We also had a white cat. That's a brilliant way of actually addressing really serious issues and having fun at the same time. I was telling my friend my whole adoption story. It took a couple of hours. She said, Choi, that is so deep. I went, mm. She went, when was the moment you realised that you were adopted? She went, mm-hmm. I went, you know what, two weeks ago on the internet, someone just tweeted it. I was adopted at the age of three in Japan by a German bloke and an Italian woman. Now this is transracial adoption long before it was made hip by Angelina Womb Raider. The aim of tonight, of course, is to get money for all the various people involved in adoption. And that's a very, uh, you know, very good thing to do. We hope that this uh, kind of shows will go on and for adoption and it's a, a very good cause. So I decided to go back to London, try and find my family, and I didn't. In fact, I'll be honest, I got involved with some bad people. I got involved with a gang of bank robbers and they employed me as their getaway driver, a job I was doing successfully up until a few months ago when they sacked me from the gang for being dyslexic. Now don't worry, I'm taking the industrial tribunal. Because no, the way I see it, if you've got a dyslexic getaway driver, don't hold up HSBC Bank for fuck's sake. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 20 minutes I'll stand outside British home stores with the engine running, yes. I think that it's a wonderful event and it's something that people should support. I happen to know a lot of celebrities who uh, were foster adopted and uh, I think they should be more part of this, you know, they should be here endorsing it, advertising it, putting the word around, because uh, I think we all need positive role models. Coming here tonight, you've really made a difference and I really believe that if everybody does a little bit of something, differences, it becomes a whole lot of something bigger. This is exciting. Bring it on. Thank you.